How much more real does it feel right now with the pads on? Uh, it feels real, but it feels good, you know. It's, it's good to finally get the full pads back in and just be fully submerged in football. You know, the first couple of days, the defense can feel kind of good, you know, because we don't have pads on, but it's more realistic today. So I like being in full pads, and, you know, it's a good experience. I was going to say, in your room specifically, does it feel like you can kind of do a little bit more, almost play a little bit more real football? It, it feels like we get better spots by the refs, you know. So <laughs> it's not any situation where we feel like we're getting shorted because we know exactly where we're down at. So. Yeah. What caused the chippiness in practice today? Uh, you know, just the intensity. Um, it was, it's a lot of competition, you know, a lot of give and take on the offense and defense. Offense makes a lot of plays. Defense makes a lot of big plays as well. So, honestly, it was just high intensity. And, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the moment sometimes. But What stood out to you about, uh, you know, going through practice as, as a BYU player compared to your time at Colorado? Um, honestly, just, you know, the unity of everyone. Um, I feel like we had more chippy days like this, and it was more of a consistent thing rather than it being more of a spectacle like today was. Um, so, you know, the biggest difference is the unity. Um, up front, I got some big guys that are really moving things. Uh, and, yeah. What's the competition like in your room right now? Because you got a little bit of everything in that, that RB room with, mm -hmm. you know, tanks like Aiden and <laughs> little, little tiny little mouse gap bags like, like and whatnot. I make fun of people's size all the time. <laughs> What's the competition like with all you guys? Honestly, it's um, it's it's pretty fun, and and we learn a lot from each other. You know, there's certain things that Aiden can teach us that we necessarily don't really have the most experience at, and there's things that we can teach him. So I feel like it's a lot of give and take, especially in our room, and it's competitive for sure. But I feel like it's more love than anything. We saw LJ there towards the end of practice a little bit, making a lot of plays. Yeah. What kind of impression has he made on you guys? Yeah, that's 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 our that's our little brother. You know, we love him to death. We try to give him, um, you know, all the little pointers and stuff that we possibly can. And you know, he's learning very fast. So especially as a freshman, he's developing pretty good. So I'm I'm excited to see his future because I feel like he has a very high ceiling. What's been the biggest uh, biggest change for you? moving over to Provo, moving over to the, we would call it the right side of the Rockies. I don't know if you have an opinion. <laughs> What's been kind of the biggest sort of thing to, uh, whether it's football or non-football, that uh -huh. you've been kind of like, okay, this is a little bit different for me? Um, maybe just because it's summer, um, but it's very quiet here in Provo. I feel like Boulder's a little bit more ramped up, a little yeah. bit more active. Um, Provo is quiet, but in a good way, yeah. you know? And, really quiet during the summers too. Yeah, and, and I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's good. Um, kind of dry out here. Uh, we don't get that much rain, especially in Houston. Well, being from Houston, yeah, that's true. it's from tons of rains. And a little bit, we started to get a little bit more in Colorado. So, I mean, not the biggest adjustment because it's pretty similar to me. But I feel like the, the biggest thing is just the quietness because it gets very, very quiet. you excited about the bus going back to the Big 12? Yeah, I feel like it'll be good, you know. Especially just coming from the Pac-12, and I've always kind of felt like the Big 12 was a little bit more superior just because of TV times. They had the good game times, not those Pac-12 after dark games, which is horrible traveling from. Um, so I think it'll be good, and I feel like it's a good thing for the university and the program too.